Welcome to this Schooling Online production. This lesson will go through a plot summary of the first act of Shakespeare's A Midsummer Night's Dream. Welcome to Athens. Theseus, the rich and powerful duke, is chatting with his fiancée, Hippolyta. They're planning their wedding in four days' time and Theseus can't wait. He wants an extravagant wedding festival that everyone will remember. Then Aegeus enters with his daughter, Hermia. He's in a real sweat as Hermia won't marry the young stud, Demetrius, his hand picked for her. How ungrateful! Instead of Demetrius, she's got a major crush on Lysander. Lysander argues he's just as good as Demetrius, but Aegeus won't listen. How can they resolve this? Theseus orders that if Hermia won't do what her father demands, she'll either be executed or have to spend her life in a nunnery. But she can have a few days to think it over. Faced with these pretty awful options, Lysander and Hermia decide they'll run away to somewhere where laws aren't so harsh. Meanwhile, there's yet another person with a broken heart. Meet Helena. She's got a major thing for Demetrius, but he acts like she doesn't exist. When Hermia tells her how she and Lysander will flee to the woods, Helena thinks there's a chance to finally get Demetrius to notice her. She decides that she will snitch about Hermia's plans, then Demetrius will follow them to the woods. Surely, Helena thinks, Demetrius will be grateful that she told him. Seems like a bit of a strange plan to get him to notice her, but Helena's pretty desperate. In another part of Athens, a group of tradies, otherwise known as the Mechanicals, are rehearsing a play for Theseus and Hippolyta's wedding night. They're an amateur group and their acting skills aren't great. The play they've chosen is called The Most Lamentable Comedy and Most Cruel Death of Pyramus and Thisbe, which is a doomed tragedy about two young lovers who elope but then, through a series of misunderstandings, both commit suicide. Perfect for a wedding celebration, right? Nick Bottom, who is the least intelligent of the mechanicals, seems to think so. The leader, Peter Quince, starts handing out the roles to his group. Bottom thinks he's a real master of acting and wants to play every part. Quince suggests that Bottom should play Pyramus, as he is the most handsome and dashing character. Bottom reluctantly agrees, and the rest of the parts are assigned. Finally, the mechanicals all agree to meet up for rehearsals the following night. But where? They need somewhere secretive and quiet and away from the city. Aha! Quince has the perfect solution. They'll meet in the woods. What could possibly go wrong? We hope you enjoyed this Schooling Online production. For more easy lessons on A Midsummer Night's Dream, check out our summary of Act 2.